Someone in the comments asked me if I could recreate a specific sound that they heard in a trailer and I thought that this could be a good example to show you how I would typically approach recreating sounds like this. I'm gonna link the trailer that this is from in the description and this is the sound. So it's a typical high-pitched trailer band and now I'm just gonna try to recreate this sound. So the way I typically approach this is I think about the sound in pitch, volume and texture. And for all of these I think of them over time because very often sounds develop over time and change over time. And so I always look at it as pitch over time and volume over time and texture over time. How I would start with this? First of all I would just start with recreating the pitch of the sound. So let's just create a MIDI clip that's roughly the same length as our audio sample here. And now we just have to find the correct pitch. So let's see. I think this could be right. And now, as I said, I'm gonna listen for the pitch over time because there are some pitch bands going on. So as you can hear at the beginning, the pitch increases and at the end we lower the pitch. So I'm gonna try to recreate this. And in this case, I'm just gonna use a metronome because it's gonna be easier to draw in the pitch bands for this. So just map metronome one to global voice transpose. And now regarding the amount, obviously this depends on the sound that you're trying to recreate. So I'm gonna start with an octave and see if that's enough or too much. The note that we currently have here is the main pitch of the sound. So everything in between the bands essentially. So this is the note that our band is gonna land on. So I know that at the beginning we are starting at a lower pitch. So I'm just gonna pitch this note down one octave. So now I'm just gonna start playing around with the metronome here and see if we can get the pitch bands right. So again, the main note is gonna be one octave higher. So this is the amount that we have set here. So I know it's supposed to land on this note. Actually, also drag this on the audio sample and see if we get the timing right here. This seems fairly close regarding the pitch, I think. So regarding volume, which would be the next step, there is not that much going on. If we had an example with maybe a tremolo effect, I would draw in volume automations or use filters. Any filter movement essentially is just lowering or boosting the volume of a certain frequency. This would also, to me, fall under this category. But in this case, we have a really steady volume. I'm just gonna maybe use a bit of a tech. Volume-wise, I think there's not that much going on that we need to address. Now that you have the pitch right and you have the volume right, you can worry about how the sound actually sounds. So now we're gonna look at just the overall texture. You know, is it a clean sound? Is there reverb on it? Is it washed out? Is it heavily distorted? So to me, this sounds like there's definitely distortion on it. And we also have some stereo with, we have some movement in the top end. So the sound is not completely steady. There is some modulation going on. I would say it's a bit dull sounding, so there's not a lot of high frequency information. And maybe this has been washed out with a reverb. So the first thing I would do is to stack this a bit more and actually just give this a bit of unison so that we create some stereo width and some movement in the highs with this. And maybe there's also a layer going on pitched one octave higher. So let's start adding some effects. I'm definitely gonna compress the sound. And as I already mentioned before, definitely quite some distortion going on. So I'm gonna use that. Yeah, now with the unison, uh, with the different voicings, we actually get this kind of movement in the top end. Definitely cut some of the highs. If you want, you can also use analyzers. And this low end in the sound is coming from a different layer. We can also see that there is not that much going on above roughly this frequency here. So we can also just copy this over to our vital instance. Yeah, and this definitely sounds a bit too upfront, so I'm gonna use a reverb. Mm -hmm. 
now I would distort this probably a bit more to get a bit closer to the actual sound. I would maybe use a saturator here. I'm just gain compensating here a little. I think this is a lot better. Even though the highs are cut quite a bit, there's still some aggressiveness in the sound. Maybe it's a bit too much distortion, but overall I think it's quite close. And I think this is an easy way to quickly get into the direction of a sound that you want to recreate and then have all the possibilities open for you to make your own version of it.